RTV6's Hiring Hoosiers works to connect you to jobs, training, and career development. We're telling stories and finding new options to better your situation and your skills. This is RTV6's Hiring Hoosiers Report. 1 Agency is putting out the call for dozens of security guards to work with their clients. RTV6's Mark Mullins reports on managers having a tough time keeping people on the job. Matthew Beatty knows to excel on this job, you have to keep your eyes peeled and your ears open. We have so many people coming in and out. I mean, it's, it gets kind of, you know. Busy. Several years ago, he started as a security guard with Allied Universal, one of the largest security personnel companies in the country. But Matthew's recent promotion means he's managing security at this particular site in a downtown office building. That's mostly our job is paying attention to what's going on. Because the customer service is, is so big in our business. And if you don't like other people, that could be a problem. The company is hiring roughly 120 security officers and site supervisors like the position Matthew holds. We have warehouses where you're walking warehouses. You might be helping at a truck gate, logging trucks in and out. You might be um, working on a computer monitoring closed-circuit cameras. Allied places security personnel at locations all across Indiana, from hospitals to corporate buildings to parking lots. New hires can expect on-the-job training, flexible schedules, health and dental benefits, life insurance, a 401k, and bonuses. But despite those perks, Allied Universal is dealing with a problem called ghosting. Depending on where you look, you can find different definitions of the word ghosting, but more recently, an official definition has been the practice of leaving a relationship without saying why and without telling your significant other. That has become a definition that is resonating with more employers nowadays. Either they're not showing up to the interview or they're not, they're not making it all the way through to the job. For employers, the growing trend can be a waste of time, money, and investment. Applicants will call us and say, hey, I really need a job, I really need a job, I really need a job, and they'll, they'll call every day, three, four, five times a day. And then when you finally get them into the interview, they don't show or they won't show up for the orientation or <sighs> but allied is looking at options to combat ghosting by increasing contact with applicants explaining the timeline of background checks and the steps in the hiring process let's engage our applicants to make sure that they know we want them. The aim is to find dedicated workers. All sorts of people every day coming in and out. Like Matthew who show up and prove they're worthy of moving up. Mark Mullins, RTV6. Mark, thank you so much. So let's talk money. The average starting wage, around $12 an hour. You will need a high school diploma and you must undergo a background check. Everyone's path to success is different. As we meet people with the power to hire, we plan to share their stories, their path to a rewarding career. In tonight's spotlight, Maya Smith Edmonds. She owns five McDonald's in central Indiana and she's always hiring people, especially people looking for their first jobs. Now, whenever they come in, the things that we want to see is we want to see someone that is prepared. We want you to have a smile, someone to have eye contact, and definitely to have a pen if you come to get an application. Be prepared to speak. You want to be confident. Um, you don't want to stutter when you talk. You want to speak clear and concisely. Um, you don't want to speak to the person and be rude or unprofessional. You don't want to not dress professionally. You want to come ready. You want to be dressed for success, have eye contact, smile, and be confident. Just get wisdom from individuals that are already in that field and just get big best bets from them. What kind of things do they have to do? What kind of obstacles do they have to overcome? What type of connections should they have? What type of training do you need? You just want to be a master of your craft and just continue to move forward because the reality is, is that greatness is inside of each and every single one of us. So there is nothing that you can't do. There is nothing Nothing that's too better, too much, and too good for you, and that there is anything that's in your heart, it can come out and you can be everything you believe in to be. Because if you look at somebody and say, hey, I want to be just like them, you're selling yourself short because God says you can be bigger, you can be greater, and you can be on the top of your own mountain. That was inspirational, Maya. Thank you so much. Next week, our regular team of career coaches return with answers to the questions that you raise on our Hiring Hoosiers fan book fan page. Join us, connect with us, and be a part of our conversation. Still ahead on Hiring Hoosiers, a gathering meant to uplift the hard work of hundreds of people seeking to better themselves.
Hiring Hoosiers all new tomorrow. A lot of pride and dignity in employment and work and, and building your own future. I want a career. I don't want a job. How Second Helping's training program is providing more than just a job. All new at 6 a.m. You need to know at martinhonda.com. And they are the best of the best workers on the IUPUI campus. And we were invited to their event because of our Hiring Hoosiers reports today. I thought the Hiring Hoosiers would be a perfect place for us to get connections for our students as well as giving them tips um, for their journey as they're going into their careers or if they're looking for any other opportunities. Today, the IUPUI Office of Student Employment recognized the commitment of its student workforce. Many are working on campus part-time or full-time while seeking their degrees. Certificates and medallions were given during the ceremony held at the NCAA headquarters. As part of the ceremony, I had a chance to address the students about how to be resourceful and be community focused at the same time. Congratulations to all there at IUPY.